morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will do a string program and this is as per the syllabus of ICSC as well as ISC. Right children? So the question is, write a program to remove the consecutive repeated characters in a string. Consecutive repeated characters ka matlab laga ta jo hai. Right? Suppose a character is present at first index number and the same character is present at fifth index number. Then those are not the consecutive characters, right? Suppose the sample input is C O O M P U T E R R. If you notice here, this double O is repeated. O and then again next character is also O. Then here also R and R. Right children? So, if this is the input, what should be the output? Output should be that we will remove the consecutive characters and we will write only one of them. So, the output will be C O M, only one O is written. P U T E R, again only one R is written. Consecutive characters, to repeat, ho rete, unko hata diya. Right children? Before writing the program, let me first explain you the logic which is very very important. And children, when I explain you any program of string, I suppose all of you are familiar with the string functions and what are the index numbers in strings, right? So if you have any doubt, please go through the playlist of string. The description box contains the link of that, right? Now children, how we will proceed with this? हमेशा जब भी स्ट्रिंग की बात करेंगे तो स्ट्रिंग में इंडेक्स नंबर्स होते हैं द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज स्टोर्ड एट जीरो इंडेक्स नंबर और लास्ट इंडेक्स नंबर कौन सा होता है स्ट्रिंग का लेंथ माइनस वन राइट अब यहाँ पे हमको कैरेक्टर्स चेक करने तो ऑब्वियसली वी हैव टू रिपीट द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर टिल द लास्ट कैरेक्टर एक एक कैरेक्टर करके एक्सट्रैक्ट करेंगे अब इसमें लॉजिक क्या कहता है कि जब भी आप नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर एक्सट्रैक्ट कर रहे हो तो उसको चेक करो कि वो पिछला वाला कैरेक्टर अगर सेम है तो उस कैरेक्टर को लीव करो एंड अगेन यू स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट वन सो सपोज हियर फर्स्ट इज सी राइट ऑब्वियसली फर्स्ट वाला तो किसी को भी मैच नहीं करेगा तो वो हमको लिखना है देन सेकेंड वेन वी आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द कैरेक्टर दिस कैरेक्टर सेकेंड कैरेक्टर ओ Then we are checking whether the previous character that is C is equals to O or not. Nahi hai. So we will write O. Next character we will extract O. Usse pehle wala check kiya kya hai? O hai. To isko we will leave. Right? Then next character M hai. O is not equals to M. So we can write M. Then P. M and P are not equal. We will write P. U. P and U not equal. We will write U. T and U. U not equal will write T and E not equal will write R and E not equal we will write and then R and R they are equal right so we will not write I think children the logic is clear when we will do the program it will be more clear to you before we proceed further I have a good news for ICSC children children Educat this is a publishing house which has published the two-in-one guidebook for 2023 examinations for ICSC. Right children? The key features of this are that it is exactly as per the syllabus of 2023 examinations. Last 10 years questions are explained in detail. Then you have the practice papers for your practice that you can solve before the examination to get very good score. Then you have the new pattern also. The sample papers are as per the new pattern. Right? Children, you must have heard that the council has changed its pattern for 2023 examination. So this book is for ICSC as per the latest syllabus. Right, children? And the most expected questions are also there. And the link from where you can get these books is given in the description box. Obviously from Amazon only. Right? So just click on the link below in the description box and get your copy now only. So all the best children. Right? Children, few statements I have already written and I suppose all of you are familiar with these statements. Let me explain you. 
we have given import statement because I want to use scanner class functions for entering the values. So import java.util.asterisk, right? Then main function. Now we have created the scanner object. Children, one thing I want to tell you here, many of you create the scanner object with the name SC or M. And mostly, most of us, we use only these two variable names for scanner object. And here you have written SC and by the time you come to third, fourth statement, your scanner object name changes to N. So, be in habit of using only one scanner object name, either SC or N in whichever you are comfortable. Right, children? Otherwise, you will make mistakes in one program. You are using both variables. You have created only one scanner object, right? So, here we have created the scanner object. Then we have given the message, enter the string. Children, I always say that always before entering anything from the user, prompt the user what is to be entered. Otherwise, only the cursor blinks and how the user will come to know how the Person who is executing the program will come to know what is to be entered, whether it is name or marks or age or string, what it is, right? So give the message enter the string and string s equals to sc dot next line. Here next line function is used which can have spaces also in the string, right? Then intl equals to s dot length. Obviously, we want to repeat the process for the entire length of the string for all the characters. So, in most of the programs, finding length is important. So, please don't miss this statement, right? Now, here I have taken a variable last char as char data type because in this every time I will be storing the previous character and then the comparison will take place, right? So, I suppose till here it is clear to all of you. Now, actually the processing, the extraction and removal part will start, right? Now, how we will do after this, we will start the for loop for int i equals to 0, i less than l. If the length is 10, total 10 times, but from 0 to 9. So, if it is 10, 0 to 9, if it's, it is 5 from 0 to 4 like that, right children? And i plus plus. Why i plus plus? Because I want to repeat this process for 0 character, 1st character, 2nd character, 3rd character. So i plus plus, we will update this variable by 1 every time, right? Now after this, what you have to do? If last char, what is this last char? Last char is the variable where I have stored a single space here. Now let me explain you why it is here. Not equals to s dot caret of i. Children caret function is used to extract the character at the given index number. So last char what we have stored space. Space is not equals to caret of 0. Caret of 0 in this case is C. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? So, space is not equals to C. Yes, correct. So, what we will do? We will make a new string equals to this plus S dot caret of I. Is me humne string store career and you can take one string variable here string n equals to opening and closing quotes just initialize it but not with a space also kewal humko ek string chahiye jisme kuch bhi nahi ho jisme hum apni values ko ek ek extract karke isme put karenge right so if space is not equals to c n equals to n plus c caret of 0 is c here right now after this, after this we want ki next character jab extract karenge, usse pehle hum is C ko kahin pe store karne. So what we will do, we will store this C where in last char variable. Last char equals to S dot caret of I. Ab is me kya aagya aapka? C aagya, right? Now the, this loop is over. And we'll come back here. What will be the value of i now? i will be 1. 
and last car mein kya value hai? It is C at present, right? C is not equals to O. S dot carrot of 1 kya hai? O. C is not equals to O? Yes, true. So kya hoga ab aapka? Is mein pehle kya tha? C plus S dot carrot of 1, that is O. O a gya. Aur ab humne is O ko store kar liya last car mein. When it will come become 2, I will become 2. Last car is O and S dot caret of 2 is also O. O is not equals to O? Nahi, condition false hai. So this statement will not be executed and it will come here. Aur yaha pe kya store hoga? S dot caret of 2, caret of 2 means O store hoga, right? Now I will become 3, 3. Last car mein kya hai aapka O and caret of 3 is M. O is not equals to M? Yes, condition is true. So N equals to N plus S dot caret of I and that is M. M a gaya. Phir, next time is mein kya store ho gaya last car mein? M store hua. Ab aapka konsa character extract hoga? 4. So M is not equals to P. Condition is true. So n equals to n plus s dot caret of 4 that is p. So like this it will continue. Next aapka last car mein kya aajayega? p aajayega. And i ki value ho gai 5. p and u are equal? No. So this condition is true. So yaha par kya add ho jayega u? Ab aapka is mein last car mein u aagaya. Now i will become 6 and u and caret 6 that is t are equal? No, so T will be added here. Next, like this, E will be added. Now, when E is here, caret of 8, E and R are same? No, so here what will be there? R will be added and now what will be the value of last car? It will be caret of 8, that is R. Now, here when it will become 9, so this is R and this is Caret of 9 that is R. So R is not equals to R? No. Condition is false. So it, this statement will not be executed. And now after this the loop is over. So after this what we have to print as a result. Here we will give two display statements. System dot out dot println. Please check what is given as sample output exactly the same statement should be there in your output. So here you will write entered string and what is that entered string in your program? This is S. So you write S here and the next statement is system dot out dot print ln string after removal. plus n. In n we have stored the new string, right? And then you close main and then you close class. Children, I am just putting this arrow mark here. After this it is here and after this it is here. Right, children? Now, I suppose this is very easy program. Children, in strings you need little more practice. So, what is the logic? Let me summarize. Every time we are extracting a character and checking it with the previous character, the previous character or current character match kar hai, then we will not add that character in the new string, otherwise we will keep on adding, right? So I hope it is clear to all of you. So for today, this much only. Those who haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep doing the string handling. God bless you children.